Mary Jane Watson, I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. I like to get a jump on things. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry, it just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? Are you sure? Thank you. Craig? Never mind. We're good. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. For the record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Mix? <laughs> like the last six months never happened? <sighs> Peter! You are not gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. I know, I know, but wait. Just listen. Hey, take it easy. Where are you going? Oh my God. Go get him, Tiger. Maybe you can't. Peter helped build those arms, remember? If anyone can find a weakness, it's him. Maybe Spider-Man needs help from his friend Peter. They say she could go at any moment. So, loose ends. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Like, like over, over? Nice. Thanks. Everybody has their weakness. Mine is... whatever you're cooking right now. <laughs> Smells amazing. No dumplings, I hope. Nope. <laughs> I still can't believe they evacuated the entire building. Yeah, they were pretty happy when we broke up. <laughs> so, let's talk about what you found in Lee's office. Yeah, but... But why? Yeah. I'll dig into it. So I was thinking... What if we teamed up? No. No, not a sidekick. A partner. Hey, it's your crime system thingy. Looks like a residential break-in. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Oh! Oscorp CFO! Wait. You don't think this has anything to do with Lee, do you? Did you just leave your clothes on the kitchen floor? Just a couch is fine. <laughs> yeah. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. Thanks, Mick. Mm. Well, since when did Mick's become Italian? Totally. <laughs> Best in the city. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. Why did you ask me here, Pete? Friends. Is that what we are? <laughs> there's a lot of baggage here. Do you remember why we broke up? Saved by the siren. Go. Cool. Yeah, well, I just got an all caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat. Which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this. And the demons. The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. I don't blame you. But these guys are going to tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. I don't have one. I just listen. Hi. Mary Jane Watson, associate editor. <laughs> what about you? Find a job yet? Hmm? <laughs> I'm sorry, no, it's... You're a scientist. A good one. I mean, you do make a hell of a chicken curry. Oh. You know, you can always stay at my place. Only if you want to. I never stopped wanting to. Going camping? Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Help! Help! Mr. Lee. Police! Over here! No! I should get a shot of that car's plates. Perfect. But everything else worth a look is inside. And sitting on the sidelines isn't my thing. There's my opening. I should get a shot of that truck's logo. Nice. Now we know who Hammerhead's doing business with. What's in these? Tombstone. I've got to find out what's in there. <sighs> wonder where that leads. What are they building? What kind of vehicle needs tires this big? The armor on this could stop an RPG. Please look away. I'm not even here. Wow. Huh. wonder what's back there. Those barrels seem important. What's in those barrels? Alchemax. Why is that so familiar? Alchemax. I know that name. What's in these supplies? 
Alchemax. Time to go. What sort of supplies are they talking about? Here we go. GPS tracker. I should bring this to Peter. Grave dust. Sounds like some kind of drug. Who's this boss they keep talking about? Looks like there's a back room. Wonder if I can get through there. GPS trackers. Wonder if I can get my hands on one. Hmm. GPS trackers. Wait, sorry. That's not how it happened. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. Let me start over. Hold on, that's... That's not right. No, sorry. Let me back up. Sorry, I, I skipped a part. Let me start over. Better stay quiet and try not to knock things over. Seriously? Who stacks stuff like this? That guy's not going anywhere. Maybe I can distract him. More glass and boxes. These guys have no regard for a safe work environment. They've got some heavy machinery. I wonder what else these bikers are into. Shh. Enjoy your lunch, buddy. That is a well-worn chair. Reinforced suspension. Must be Tombstone Spike. This is the address Pete found. Men are all carrying firearms. What is this place? That office. Might be something inside that connects this to Lee. Need to get back there. Guy's right in my path. Need to get this guy out of my way. Knocking something over might distract this guy. Oof. Rick's in for a bad time. Need to get into that office. Entrance must be on the other side. That office must be important. Need to get back there. What are they building? Is this all for Lee? Careful. Easy does it. Watch it. What is this? Some kind of military hardware? There's the office. A lot of men in the way, though. There's the office. Careful through here. Office must be to my right. Need to move careful through here. Can't turn back now. Need to get into that office. Is Tombstone working with Lee? For him? <sighs> Need to get into that office and put some pieces together. Made it. Must be something connected to Lee in here. Need to figure out how this connects to Lee. Blueprints. An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. But why does he need an armored vehicle? There must be something else in this office. Need to keep searching. There must be something else in here. What are these? GPS trackers. What is Tombstone using these for? Office entrance must be in the back. Need to find a way into that office. Don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. Should check out that office and get out of here. Wait! I can explain! Thank you. This... this is a really lovely space. Got it. Looks good. Nice. Can't go in now. She'll see me. Not while she's in there. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Hmm. Peter! Come on. Peter! Can you hear me? Peter! Squeeze my hand if you can hear me! Stay with me. I'm right here. Just stay with me. Peter! Peter, wake up. Come on, say something, please. No, 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 no. Sounds good. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune. Did you know him well before his arrest? The two Neo are incredible. Fisk must love them. They're on so many pieces here. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Of course. Be right back. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is, this just turned into a huge story. Okay, just gotta sneak into the off-limits back room with the priceless statue without being seen or heard. No problem. I need to get a closer look at that statue. Gotta get into that back room without being seen. I'm sorry. Where was it again? Um, no. Where was the bathroom again? Right. Thanks. Wow. Fisk's Hori Yuji Neo. This is amazing. There was some trick to opening this thing. Something about the closed mouth speaks. Maybe these pieces move. Are there any clues nearby? That's not right. Hmm. I guess not. Not like that. Nice. Sweet. Awesome. Got it. Devil's breath. What is devil's... What the... Not good. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Norman Osborn. What is this? No! Let me go! Stop! Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything strange. Quiet. Wait till she looks away. Turn around. Dang, she's pissed. Come on, look away. 
Pete told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? Get in the office! Huh. Hands move separate from the arms. Maybe I should close the mouth. Nom, nom, nom. So familiar. Was there a photo of this outside? So close. But a piece is missing. The catalog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed. Arms parallel to the floor. Right palm open. She certainly is cozy with Fisk. That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. Something's in one of their hands. What is that? Hmm. He's holding something. What are these? Part of the sale? I've seen these before. Statue can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, arms parallel to the floor, right palm open. Hmm. That's not right. Not this one. Hmm. Nope. Fits. But it's not the right one. Got it. Did it. That's it. I should head back to the manager. Would love to examine all of this, but I should head back. I should continue the interview. Mm, should get both in frame. Got one, but not the other. When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? Wait, I recognize that statue. Gotta get a photo. That shouldn't be here. Hmm, product of Simcaria. What did Fisk call this? Vanessa? Always hated this cane. So tacky. I know this statue opens, but how? I wonder if there are any clues in here. I should look around. Sounds like a plan. I should hurry. She might come in here. Should solve this quick. Don't want to get caught back here. Work fast, MJ. Hey, Pete. Same as you. Working. At least, I was. Yeah, thanks. Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Bedfisk saw himself in this. A great man willing to do what others wouldn't. <laughs> Dude had no self-awareness. I get why Peter does it, but I never totally loved the heroes hiding behind masks thing. Feels like part of being a hero is standing behind your actions. Being willing to say, yeah, that was me. That's the sort of hero I'd want to be, at least. May would love this. I gotta admit, I miss May. Sometimes I feel like the whole history of the world is just boys playing dress up, getting into fights. <sighs> Fisk cut Peter open like a pork sausage with this the first time they fought. Pete got away, collapsed in my yard half dead, and I had to steal my dad's car to drive him to the ER. The first of many Nurse MJ moments. Too many. I remember when Fisk started illegally importing artifacts like this. He bought the local harbor to cover his tracks and laid off the old staff, including my dad. Wish dad was here now to see how the tables have turned. Kyoto. So beautiful. Uh, part of me wishes I could drop everything and travel the world. But life and work are here. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Brought hidden crimes to light. <sighs> We got an old school investigative journalist over here. I like her. Heard from the underworld, huh? Super tempted to ring this guy. And how much am I bid for this collection of villainy and deceit starting at 10,000 broken lives and dreams? 10,000 going once. Hmm. Simcaria. Weren't they just in the news? Little name scratched in the corner. Does that say Vanessa? Wonder if there's anything on the back. Hmm. Huh. What's on the back of this? Statue matches the catalog description now, but it's still not solved. I should look around more. Maybe I should turn the head. Can do. Will do. Uh, not quite yet. Great. Thank you. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. Something's in one of his hands. What is that? Let me explain. Good to see you, Pete. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. Southwest corner. Okay. I'm ready. See that tablet I'm looking at? That controls the drones. Yes, if you can distract them and not get shot. Shh, relax. I have a plan. Don't worry. Just stay put. This will be over soon. Wait! Let's all just relax. 
Okay, okay, listen. Tell Mr. Lee, I know where Spider-Man is hiding. First, let him go. Need to get out of here. Gotta move. Can't let him see me. Uh-oh. Uh, seriously? Yeah, okay. I got this. Come on. Come on. Almost there. I did it. Then let's start taking him out. Quietly. I'm gonna call that guy over. Get ready. I'm gonna try to reel him in. Get ready. He's gonna come this way. I'm gonna bring him into the shadows. Ready? Now. Do it. Take him out. Take him. Good one. Nice. Impressive. Okay. Moving on. Okay. Same deal. Ready? Here goes. Get ready. Can't move. He's too close. He's in my way. Gotta get past him. I need to stay out of sight. Thanks. Nice. It worked. Moving now. Okay. Almost there. Just one more. Oh no. Need to go around. Can't stay here much longer. Gotta move. Now. Wrong way. This way's blocked. Ugh. Not this way. Maybe I should go the other way. Ugh. Gotta find another way. Keep them busy. I'll work on the bomb. Of course. Not. How hard can it be? No. That's never stopped me before. Everyone, follow me! <sighs> okay. Looks pretty simple. Hmm. Okay. Got it. I did it. Yes. I think I can use that optical camouflage pad. I'm gonna try to get on that cloaking pad. Wait a sec. I think I can use that optical camouflage. Circuit board. Bunch of wires. <sighs> Let me look. Got it. Two batteries. Cell phone. And, uh... A red wire hooked into a little box. Come on, come on. Here goes. Okay, pull the first wire. Okay. <sighs> what a mess. Okay, pulling the second wire. What? The timer just changed to 30 seconds. There's no time. What if I unplug the wire from the cell phone? Quiet. I need to concentrate. <sighs> Follow the wire from the phone to the detonator. Okay, I did it. <sighs> we did it. <sighs> There's gotta be a disarm option somewhere. Got it. I'm gonna try and separate them. Let's see if I can break them up. I'll try to pull that guy away. They're still too close. Gotta get him farther away. They can still see each other. Okay, he's alone. Take him out. That did it. Grab him. Okay, now. Look at all those Oscorp displays. Hmm. I should check out those Oscorp displays. There's more stuff back there. Hmm. Cool. Wow. Nice. Incredible. <sighs> this is crazy. Huh. <sighs> Man. What doesn't Oscorp do? So, what are the demons planning here? I should have a look around. What about the Devil's Breath? No. We're partners, remember? If we don't help those people, they could die. No. No, I got myself into this. I'm getting myself out. Keep them busy. I'll take care of the Devil's Breath. No, I'm fine. Just hurry. I'll explain later. Listen, Lee's going to release the Devil's Breath. He's not gonna do it until Norman Osborn gets here. Sort of makes sense, in a twisted, psychotic way. Careful, he's got drones patrolling for you. Listen, I'm a reporter. I have a direct line to Mayor Osborn. I can help make sure he arrives, on time. If all you want is Mayor Osborn, why don't you just let the rest of the hostages go? Not exactly. Hey, partners trust each other, Peter. Can we please get back to saving the city here? I thought something might happen, but not like this. Yeah, when I'm sitting at home behind a laptop. You think I do? Yeah, you too. Yeah. Now let's get these people out of here. Okay, Standish said something about Grand Central. Guess I'll just have a look around. Standish said demons were interested in Grand Central. Time to find out why. Should probably call Peter and let him know what I'm doing. Actually, scratch that. He's probably doing something a lot more important than this right now. I'll just check things out quick and let him know what I find. It's like an Oscorp tech expo. If Lee is targeting Osborne, maybe they're looking to steal some of his tech. What would they take, and why? Standish said the demons are looking for something at GCT. But what could they possibly need here? Looks like he's got some drones patrolling. Guess he's prepared for you. I see four wires. Two blue ones, one yellow and one red. They're all black. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like the blue is connected to the battery, and yellow to a fan. Red one has a little exclamation mark. Okay. Unplug the blue wires. Disconnect one of the blue wires. The other blue wire. No, I can do this. What comes next? The yellow? Yellow wire. Yellow wire. Okay, now the red one. This is so stressful. Oh, okay. Looks like two wires are connected to the battery, one to a fan, and one has a little exclamation mark. Okay, unplug the wires from the battery. Disconnect the battery wires. 
The other battery wire. What comes next? The fan? Disconnect the fan. Come on. Okay, now the last wire. I could use a little Spidey help. You ready? Oh no! <coughs> Actually, scratch that. He'd probably just tell me to go home and chain myself to my laptop. Who's the guy in the truck? Okay, what are you gonna do? <laughs> You've come a long way since the dumpling catastrophe. Okay, like I said, he's head of latent security. Looks like they create high-tech security systems. The website talks a lot about his proprietary technology. He has lots of patents, iris scanners, cybersecurity software. And if he owns the penthouse in that building, he must be super rich. Doesn't say. I'll try to do some snooping and find out. Nope. <laughs> he come a long way since the dumpling catastrophe. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Can't use the lore Pete gave me here. Someone would see me throw it. Can't do that now. Made it. I'm never gonna sneak past that Sable agent. I can stun the agent watching the alarm controls. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Stupid useless button. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. The fabulous Osborne boys. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. This section of wall looks newer. Scrapes leading into the wall? Is there something behind this? Ten to one, this is a hidden door. But how do I open it? Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Looks like a boatload of electrical is routed right behind that painting of Norman. There must be a hidden room behind that family portrait. GR27 Martin Lee incident. Pete, I've got the lab location. And a lot more. How far away are you? Pete, you here? Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? What is this thing? It's the combat prototype from the schematic. Whoa. A, this mask is awesome. And B, there's a whole hidden room behind the painting. I need to get in there. Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Schematic for the prototype mask. Norman seems to be pushing Oscorp towards defense work. Work order for keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? Harry kept a journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Score! This must be the key for Harry's room. Always loved that Harry kept a journal. Love it more now. Looks like he left on July 18th. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. I'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. <laughs> I forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bellow. Peace in War. Always felt appropriate for Norman. Never for Harry. Look at all this. Norman certainly likes to remind guests of his status. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. <laughs> Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Harry's mom planted this when he was born. Looks like Norman has made a point of caring for it now that she's gone. Beautiful. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? What? This can't be for Harry, can it? This is like a cancer ward. Was this for Harry? These are all Harry's. For the same condition his mom had. Harry. 
Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Law books. <laughs> Harry was studying for law school before he left for Europe. Wanted to be an environmental attorney like his mom. Harry's big Oscorp project. Pollution research stations. <laughs> he was so excited about these. His mom would have been proud. Pete, Norman's got a cure. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Okay, get up here ASAP. I'll figure something out. Spiders? Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Another audio journal. Norman sure loves the sound of his own voice. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. Great. Keep the motor running. I know. I'm no, not this song again. Looks like there's a saved message. No date, though. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Emily's terminal diagnosis. I know Harry's mom was sick, but I had no idea it was genetic. Did Harry ever get tested? Looks like Norman recorded a message on this. I've never heard Norman like that before. He sounded... human. The key to Harry's room is with Emily. But where? Okay, July 18. Bingo. Hello. I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. Wow. Industrial strength stun gun. I'm sure Sable offers workman's comp. <laughs> I like this thing. And down he goes. Whoa, it's good to be an Osborne. Look at that view. I need to find that lab's location now. Devil's breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure. <sighs> I almost can't believe it. What is this? This could be the story of the decade. The world needs to know what Norman did. That did it. Norman's clearing out. And the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Uh-oh. Is that... Oh, my God. What? Oh, no. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We'll be in a few seconds. Northwest corner. You ready? It's too late. You're up! You're amazing. <laughs> Norman and Sable, right on cue. Can't let them see me. Gotta get into the penthouse elevator without being seen. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Harry's room is locked. I should search Norman's room for the key. Looks like a map of the Upper West Side. AR interface. <laughs> Very slick. This is so cool. Like that movie about future crime? I didn't kill my wife! Wait a minute. Wait, no, that's the wrong movie. This thing needs more sound effects. Boop. Beep boop. Boop. This map is so cool, it actually makes me like Norman more. <laughs> like, 3% more. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Mm, kinda makes sense, though. Michael's is the lead on Devil's Breath. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. <sighs> They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Where do these three categories overlap? That must be the lab's location. Dr. Michaels went to this Oscorp building, but there's no security detail. This can't be it. No, Dr. Michaels was near a lot of sable forces, but it's not an Oscorp facility. Nope, that's just a sable patrol. Oscorp building but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. Dr. Michaels visits this Oscorp building a lot, and there's a huge Sable presence. This must be right. GR-27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Okay, Norman's apartment is on the top floor, but the elevator lobbies off limits to non-residents. Have to sneak back without the guard seeing me. This room smells like... rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. Ugh. Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Work order for a keypad lock. What does Harry's last day mean? Looks like Norman locked up Harry's room. 
I wonder why. Score. Let's find the lock that fits you, Key. Wow. <laughs> Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so tired. I've never heard Norman like that before. He sounded... human. I always thought it was weird Harry was in therapy since first grade. Not so weird anymore. Super creepy. We have reached peak Norman. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed into the Norman Zone. Sorry, I'm back. Norman's headed to his lab now. Can you follow? Okay, I'm back. Get here ASAP. I'm gonna find the lab. Somehow. Sorry, hold up. Just a sec. Sorry, hang on. Okay, back. Sorry. Hey, back. What were you saying? This is incredible. Hello? Anyone hiding in the creepy secret lab? I need to find the code for that keypad. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Huh. Norman's tracking his high-level employees. Looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michaels' movements. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. Wherever the anti-serum is, he must have been too. No, I need to track Michaels. No, I need to focus on Michaels. Oscorp's going all in on defense research. Commercial buildings? No, Norman's not crazy enough to keep the anti-serum in a shopping center. Wow, so many records facilities. No one needs this many records buildings. Could they be cover? A records facility could be perfect cover for the Devil's Breath Lab. None of these buildings are in Dr. Michael's path. Hmm. Dr. Michael's visited a few of these buildings. Sable troop deployments. Broken up by team. Good old Alpha team. Are any of these patrols near Oscorp buildings? Bravo, bravo, bravo. Devil's Breath Lab must have a big Sable presence. And this must be the C team. Should check the patrol routes against Oscorp buildings. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michael's path. Nice. Got some overlap with Dr. Michael's path. Bet I'm looking for a heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michael's visits. This looks right. Let's see where the three categories overlap. Hmm, looks wrong. Don't think I've chosen the right categories. <sighs> this isn't right. I should try the buttons up top again. Some kind of powered glider. Who knew Norman liked to shred? Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. A child's x-ray. But it's not Harry or Emily. Who is this? That aura around him. <gasps> is this Martin Lee? Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Have to get this info out of here. This is a Watergate-level story. Norman Gate. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Wonder what Norman's keeping in this. More giant mutant spiders? Walls of this look heavily reinforced. Wonder what's in here. Need to clear that balcony. Need to stun that sable agent. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Need to make a diversion so I can get in there. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. That should do it. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Excuse me, the lobby seems pretty busy. Is everything okay? Have people been waiting down here long? Has the penthouse been affected? That's the elevator to Norman's penthouse. Just need to unlock it. Security room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Time to unlock that elevator. Only way to unlock the elevator is by setting off a fire alarm. Here goes nothing. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. City's in a state of emergency, but Norman still manages to get his laundry and cleaning done for him. <laughs> what a hero. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. Dr. Strom. 
Isn't he a robotics expert? No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Van Adder is a dead end. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Whoa, this mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? I wonder where it leads. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You, you find Norman. You find the cure. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Norman and Otto, they started all of this. They created Lee. I, I have to get this. <sighs> Gotta turn him around. Good boy. Norman said the key is with M. I wonder if he meant that literally. Norman bids his son farewell. Where are you, Harry? Are you even still alive? Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. Okay, gotta find out when he left. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched. But the key has to be around here somewhere. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Wait, Norman sent Harry away for treatment? I thought he went to Europe on his own. What were you hiding from us, Harry? <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney, like his mom. <sighs> Harry's big project. He was so excited about these research stations. His mom would have been proud. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Time to find the code for that keypad. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. A photo was removed, though. Wonder what was there. <sighs> Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Peter, thank God. Have you heard from May? Are you there? Just brace yourselves! <clears throat> Come on, you stupid piece of... Ah! Come on, May! I've got you! No! We've got you! We've got you. Everyone is safe. As dead as I would have been the last eight and a half thousand times you saved me. Pretty sure I still owe you a few. Hey. I'm sorry I screwed things up. It's just... Hard being the one who always gets saved, you know? Sometimes I want to do the saving. Always. That's right. The city is in danger. It needs our help. I'll chase down some leads. <sighs> Come on, Sherlock. Show me what you got in this water smorgasbord. Hey. No. This is ridiculous. Don't worry, guys. It's gonna be okay. Miles, come on. It's okay. Charles Standish? Charles, where is Dr. Morgan Michaels? I'm not with the demons. I'm not with Sable. I'm a reporter, and I want to see Lee stopped. Just like you. Grand Central. To get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? Charles! What the hell? Wait, no, he knows something. Standish is somewhere inside the compound. That gap in the fence looks promising. Just need to distract the guard. Made it. Now to find Standish. Need to draw him away from the stairs. Gotta get up those stairs. Standish, I knew it. I've gotta get to that tent. Killing those lights will make it easier to move forward. Might be able to shut off those lights. Too many guards around here. They'll spot me right away. <sighs> That's better. Another generator up ahead. <sighs> Too many guards around Standish's tent. They'll see me if I go straight for it. Might be time for another blackout. Here we go. The lures Pete gave me should distract the guard long enough for me to sneak in. Standish is straight ahead, but there are too many guards that way. Gonna have to sneak around back. Too many guards in front of Standish's tent. Need to find another way to approach it. Too many guards around Standish's tent. Gotta find a way to sneak around back. This place is so brightly lit. Gotta be a way to darken the mood. Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Standish is somewhere in there. Gotta get past that guard. Time to see if these lures Pete gave me work. Let's hope these things work. No. Time to move, guy. 
Out of the way, fella. House guest. Must be Standish. He's here somewhere. That did it. Time to move. Hurry. I won't distract him for long. Bought me a little time. Truck's about to move. Should use it as cover. Truck's moving. Might give me cover. Go, go, go. <sighs> Made it. That worked better than I thought it would. Almost there. There's Standish's tent. I'm close. Just need to get to the tent without alerting anyone. Come on, come on. Safe. Move it. <sighs> close. Go, go, go. <sighs> Thanks for standing right in my way, guy. Gotta get this guy to move. Get this guy out of the way and I'm home free. She's nervous. Standish must know something about Dr. Michaels. They're moving him. Have to find out where before we lose our shot. I don't care how many men Sable has. She won't be able to stop Martin Lee. What's that? Looks important. Demons are killing anyone related to Devil's Breath. Standish is in real danger. Demons have made threats on Standish's life. I should get a photo of this. Need a photo of this. Hmm. Hello. Safe houses. If Dr. Michaels is in one of these, Standish might know which one. Safe houses. Dr. Michaels must be in one of these. Should grab another photo. One more photo. Hmm. Should take another. No, not in frame. No good. <sighs> Out of frame. Got it. Looks good. Good shot. Perfect. Should grab a photo first. Can't leave without a photo. Need a photo before I move on. Not yet. Still need a photo. Mary Jane Watson, Associate Editor. Begin research notes. My sources are saying the Magia is mounting a comeback. The old crime families were all but wiped out, until Fisk went away and they started filling the void. This could be volatile. The Syndicate seems to be working harmoniously, but the old Dons have never trusted each other. And that maniac Hammerhead is capable of anything. The old Dons were working harmoniously for years, but now that there's a power vacuum, there's bound to be a power struggle. It's only a matter of time before one of the families makes a move on the others. Better follow up with my sources in the Force. Hopefully we can stop this crime comeback before it even starts. I'll see if my contacts on the Force can positively ID him. An unguarded laptop. Golden opportunity. A shipping manifest. This could lead to their distribution center. I'm not sure if I can sneak by this guy. But I still have my stun gun. Almost there. Close as I ever want to cut it. Control C. Control V. Uh oh, no dice. Gotta be another way. More of them. This way won't work. Nope, need to find a different route. Blocked. Maybe there's another way. Sorry. Sort of. Yeah, <laughs> son of a. <sighs> mm -hmm. Weird as the idea of Pete being a dad is to me. Can't imagine what it's like for him. But I bet he'd be a good one. If we get the kid back, do we let Felicia leave with him or call social services? First things first, get him back. Hey, I followed up on that license plate. It's registered to a storage company owned by an old friend of Hammerhead. I'm at their HQ now. In the meantime, I'll just take a quick look around. What if the kid's here? What do I do if I find him? Better question, what if he looks like Peter? Ugh. Stop, MJ. Just stop. I should get a picture of that guy. Might help build a case if this goes south. Okay, got all the shipping company data, which will hopefully tell us where they're keeping her son. I'll look through it later. But now, gotta get out of here. Quietly. What are you doing here? And why do you smell like pizza? I've got stuff to follow up on. I'll call you later. Well, while you were out enjoying lunch, I was gathering evidence and trying to find a missing child. Okay, time to get out of here. Got what I need. Time to go. Think I've outstayed my welcome. Better get out of here. Fast. Oh, that's a lot of cash. Looks counterfeit. Sheets of counterfeit bills. Looks like Hammerhead's got a new hobby. Is he using this printer for his counterfeiting operation? Got it. Nice. Better keep moving. Come on, come on. Gotta grab a shot. I should take a picture. Hey, I followed up on that license plate. It's registered to a storage company owned by one of Hammerhead's old friends. I'm there now. Okay, first things first. Look around, see if the boy is being held here. And if he is, get him out safely. What do I do if the kid looks like Peter? Stop, MJ, just stop. No sign of the boy here. Still no sign of the kid. I'm starting to feel like he's not here. This guy looks like he needs a nap. Gotta distract those guys. 
Maybe I can cool him off. That fan looks like it'd work. <clears throat> What's that? Looks important. Wow. And they still haven't found a body? Do you think she survived? So, how's it feel to not be a dad? <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. Yeah, <laughs> you do. <laughs> but I think you're going to be an amazing dad someday. At the right time. <laughs> I should get a photo of this. Hello. I should grab another photo. No, not in frame. <sighs> Out of frame. Got it. Perfect. Can't leave without a photo. Need a photo before I move on. Looks good. Good shot. Mary Jane Watson, Associate Editor. Begin research notes. What started as a museum heist a few days ago has turned into a brutal assault on the city. And the casualties keep piling up. Last night, after almost killing Maji Adan Hammerhead, Captain Yuri Watanabe was forced into administrative leave. Sources say she told the chief, this won't stop me. Note. Follow up on this later. Feels like this isn't the end of her story. Meanwhile, Hammerhead, who was pronounced dead at the scene, was revived and escaped custody. Police are searching for him, but there are no solid leads. His men are continuing to target sable weaponry and vehicles, including something called Project Olympus. From what we can gather, Project Olympus is an Oscorp and Sable-funded initiative. Bioenhancement technology meant to transform people into indestructible super soldiers. Hammerhead is ruthless and insane, and now apparently indestructible. <sighs> but first things first, figure out where Hammerhead is hiding. The question is, what are we going to do when we find him? As of this hour, the number of infected civilians is approaching half a million. There is still no update from the NDC on the timetable for an antiserum, but they are working around the clock on a cure for this deadly disease. Who maintain tight security over all transit points. Throughout the city, police and Sable agents continue to battle with Rikers and Raft escapees. Meanwhile, Mayor Osborne has gone on record blaming Spider-Man for the prison break and citywide sickness, and branding him a fugitive. But he has yet to provide evidence. And many believe the mayor is just deflecting blame, since an exclusive report by the Bugle revealed that this disease originated in a secret, unregulated Oscorp laboratory here in Manhattan. Mayor Osborne insists that Oscorp is working with the NDC on an antiserum, but has not provided any further evidence to support this claim. This is Mary Jane Watson with a Daily Bugle special report on the bioterror attack. The citywide quarantine is being heavily enforced by Sable International. Easy, Tiger. So you know the feds raided the Magia last month? And I have a source who says one of the families is planning to steal it back. Tonight. So while Hammerhead's guys were trying to break in the front, someone else slipped in through the roof? Well, that's suspicious. That has to be the Maria. Did you find the Maria? Peter, you there? You okay? Nice. What do you see? Good. Try to keep it that way. <laughs> Actually, their handprint. If you can't find the guards, maybe you can lift prints from the things they touched. Hey, Pete. I'm working on a story you might be interested in. New one. It's about the Magia crime families. <laughs> Try to stay focused. How about you enjoy the art during regular hours? They were in decline, but with Fisk and the demons gone, La Cosa Nostra is making a comeback. Yeah, maybe check the security booth near the entrance. There should be cameras there, too. They would have seen whoever broke in. You'd be so lost without me. Is she now? Funny how that keeps happening. Cops are on the scene. Play nice. Mm-hmm. Really? How methodical of her. I'm still on the trail. But a tip just came into the newsroom you'll want to hear. Scorpion's been sighted by the reservoir. Hey, Pete, you left the tombstone transmitter at my place when you ran off after Standish. I dropped it at Otto's lab for you. <laughs> Dr. Octavius is a charmer, by the way. Miss Watson, you're like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> anyway, gotta go. Talk soon. Pete? Are you okay? What's happening? On it right now. I'm pulling every building permit in the city. If there's a record of the lab, I'll find it. They're still setting up. Where are you? Hey, all good. Just got done with the interview. Man, what a story. Robbie's giving me like 20 minutes to file, so I gotta get typing. Oh, I got to meet his family. His son Miles is a big fan of yours. Pete, hurry. I think someone's... <laughs> okay, Pete, I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Research notes on something called Devil's Breath. 
Most of the jargon is over my head, but Fisk calls it the gravest threat my city has ever faced. Seems like Devil's Breath scared him. Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Hey, did you see my story? Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Yeah, we all do. But still a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? I'm all ears. Give me a sec. Okay, I found it. Corner of Henry and Montgomery. Hey, what's up? Peter, I've been trying to call you. Um, not yet. Let me see. They're an international security firm, usually hired by governments to end revolutions. Or start them. Whoa, social media is blowing up. They're setting up checkpoints around the city, doing random stop and frisks. This is crazy. Speaking of Osborne, what's the latest on his campaign offices? Okay, say hi to May for me. Wait, you don't think she's in danger, do you? Right. Okay, keep me posted. Peter, hey, can I call you back? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Cool. See ya. How? So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. Yeah. See ya. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Hey, so I dredged up some records on Martin Lee's other business holdings. He's got places all over the city. Let me know what you find at each one, and I'll work on building a case. Hey, so what are you thinking? Hey, do you know the story with Lee's parents? I'm not exactly sure, but I think I have an idea. Remember the deputy mayor? Yeah, I've been looking through police reports. All of his friends and co-workers were shocked. That's just not something he would do. Yeah, but get this. His assistant said he was fine up until an hour before the ceremony. Then he met with several business leaders to update them on a budget crisis. After the meeting, she said he was quiet and kind of like a robot. Then he disappeared for a few minutes, I guess, to put on the bomb vest. Martin Lee was in that meeting. If this whole corrupting touch thing is true, all it would take is a quick handshake. <laughs> this coming from a guy who has super spider powers. <laughs> we make quite a team, don't we? Then let's change that. Head to 106 and Lex. Okay, just got it. Then it's up to us to find him. I've been doing some research. Go to this address. Martin Lee bought a controlling interest in this recycling center last year. Maybe. We know he's not at Feast. If he's not at the recycling center, maybe you'll find some evidence as to where he might be. <sighs> be careful. Just promise you'll be careful. I thought I lost you at City Hall, and it kind of... I don't know, it, it put some things in perspective. Thanks. Hey, what'd you find? Whoa. Hey, so I talked with the detective off the record about interviews with the arrested demons. He said they're all tight-lipped, but he overheard a couple of them saying that their boss is unbeatable. Apparently, if he touches you, he can, quote, corrupt you. That's human. Let me know when you find that truck. I'll keep looking into Lee. I recognize that name. Hold on. Here it is. Lee bought a controlling interest in it early last year. You think we have enough to go to the police? Okay, just hurry. What'd you find? Oh my god. Old as new recycling. Lee bought that business early last year. You think it's another front? I don't know. But since the bombing, I've been looking into all of his businesses. I found a police report about an incident there. A longtime worker called the police about a fight with some new employees. Doesn't say. But when the police arrived, Martin Lee was there and smoothed everything over. And then, the next day, the employee that filed the report disappeared. Maybe that's what Lee told you. But I found a police report that says Lee was found on the street one day, alone. He was only ten. When the police asked about his parents, he couldn't remember what happened. Police think they just abandoned him. If he's been holding that anger in for all these years, it's bound to come out sooner or later. We must have some kind of beef with Norman Osborn. I know you too well to say you should give yourself a break. What about the police? Do they have any leads on Lee? It's a food pantry run by Martin Lee. Hey, did you find Lee? Nice. Did you find Lee? Huh, sounds familiar. I'll check it out and get back to you. Pete, I've been looking into Martin Lee's past. Has he ever told you about his parents? He may not have been telling the whole truth. I dug up a police report that says Lee was found on the street one day alone. He was only 10. When asked about his parents, he couldn't remember what happened. Police think they just abandoned him. If he's been lying about them for years, burying his anger at being abandoned, all this might be his rage finally bursting out. That's human. 
Oh, one more thing. I talked with a detective about questioning the arrested demons. They're all claiming Martin Lee has the power to, quote, corrupt people. They say it's sort of like mind control. It brings out the negative part of you. Makes you do things you wouldn't normally do. This coming from a guy who can run up walls. Copy that. Hey, Peter, when you finally... Kick his ass. Yeah, everyone's safe. I said quiet. They're on to you. We need to get these people out of here. They're starting to panic. Hurry. But first, find Lee and kick his ass. Try to do it quietly. This is Mary Jane Watson. Please leave a detailed message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. When you're done in there, we should talk. Dinner? Oh, yeah. I was calling you about something else, but... Yeah, we should talk over dinner. Oh, really? Well, I like to take risks. I'm still out, but I'll grab some stuff at the store and let you know when I'm home. All right, I picked up a bunch of stuff at the store. Can't wait to see what you come up with. <laughs> okay, good. And the demons? I put some curry in the fridge for you. If you ever come back... You've come a long way since the dumpling catastrophe. Let's see. Chief Financial Officer at Oscorp. Single. Known for his art collection. I'll run a search on everything in that file. So, are we partners now? Because it sure feels like we are. Okay. See ya, partner. This curry is legit. Mm. This curry is seriously amazing. Peter, what happened with Standish? Yeah, go. Okay. Who is he? What's his deal? I'm on it. Just give me a few minutes. I'm on it. Just give me a few. Oh, and before I forget, you left that tracker from Tombstones at my place. I'll drop it at Dr. Octavius's lab. Let you know what I find on Delaney. I knew you were something special. Come back to me. Got a couple weird looks when I came in through the fire escape, but I'm used to those by now. Are you sure you're okay? Finding out about Otto and Norman's experiments on Lee, and Harry's illness... It's hard enough for me to process. I can't even imagine what you're feeling right now. I'm here when you need me, Pete. Good luck. Pete, hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. I'll be ready. Peter, don't be crazy! Wait for help! Pete, where are you? May called me. I think she's... I'm on my way, too. Fire and rescue is delayed. Half the city is burning already. Wait for me, and... Peter, don't be crazy. Wait for help. We can... Looters at the Veteran Center. They started a fire. May and Miles are trapped inside. I'm almost there. Peter, thank God. We need you at the Veteran Center. Where are you? The convict started a fire. We got the building staff out, but May and Miles are trapped inside. I'm trying to find a way into them, but the fire's spreading so fast. Peter, fire and rescue's on the way. I found a fire escape that'll get me... How about a favor? You still have that mask from the gallery? Martin Lee, why? Hey, Peter, you owe me a favor. How about a favor and we'll call it even? If you see or hear anything else about the guys in masks, let me know. A brewing gang war. So what's next? Keep me in the loop, okay? Hey, fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Just keep me in the loop. Like I said, I think there's a bigger story here, and I plan to be the one to break it. Yeah, whenever, whatever. Check out the picture I just sent. I don't know. I guess you'll have to go to the party to find out. Hey, did you find Dr. Delaney at the party? Oh no, what happened? Hey, I found Dr. Michaels. Online, at least. World-renowned genetic scientist. Runner-up to the Nobel Prize a few years ago. Also regularly volunteered to provide general medical care for children in third-world countries. Sounds like everyone loved him. Weird. Do you think Norman would go so far as to fake a guy's death to keep his work secret? <sighs> what a story. Until then, I need to get off my laptop and out in the field. I've been thinking about Charles Standish. I think if I get to him, I can make him talk. You too. That's horrible. We have to stop this guy. Morgan Michaels. Who is he? Yeah, get this. A few years ago, Osborne came to Fisk and asked him to build a lab, but to keep it hidden from regulators. If it's as dangerous as we think it is, I can see why. That's not in the file. Osborne made Fisk destroy all records of it. All I have are invoices from Osborne's personal account to Fisk Construction. Knowing Fisk, he kept the invoices around for blackmail material on the mayor. I doubt he's going to tell you anything. Because he's been dead for like a year. 
I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. You knocked out my source and whisked me away before I could finish my interview. Yes, I'm still mad. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Let's talk later. Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Yes, Peter. <sighs> yeah, they have Michaels in the Bowery, moving him tomorrow at noon. Bet if you hang out in the area, you'll be able to spot him. Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> you knock a man out, destroy my background research, and the best you've got is sorry, Charlie? Is everything a joke to you? Hey, okay, another thing. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> is everything a joke to you? Tension breaker. Right. <sighs> you know this is exactly why we broke up. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating me like a baby. Don't do this, MJ. Don't do that, MJ. Oh, that's too dangerous, MJ. I may not have super spider powers, but I'm not made out of glass. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> Michaels is in the Bowery somewhere. Sable's moving him tomorrow at noon. He was... <sighs> no. It was nothing. Listen, I gotta go, Peter. Filing deadline. Hey, Pete. What's up? I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Peter, I've been looking into the demons. Sounds like they've quietly established a power base in the vacuum left by Fisk. But what were you supposed to do? Let Fisk keep godfathering? Are you okay? You sound even mopier than usual. Oh, Pete, I'm sorry. If Harry were here, he could talk some sense into his dad. You'll find another source. Your work's too important. Hey, so this gang war between the demons and Fisk is really heating up. These guys are serious. Do they just want to replace Fisk? Hey, we're running another piece on Jefferson Davis, and it made me wonder, how's his son Miles doing? He needs something to do outside of school. Maybe a part-time job? Kind of think you just described Feast. That's what I'm here for. Hey, Pete. What's up? Peter, I'm with May. It's bad. You need to get that Annie serum here within the hour. And if you can't, then you need to get yourself here. I'm fine. Combing through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but you remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. Just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no supervillains. We could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cuz. Now it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete. Love it when you get philosophical. Toss away. Oh, wow, Pete. Thinking of Otto? Yeah, understandable, though. Man, the high-minded, generous part of me wants to say never. Being a true friend means being there, even when people lose their way. But with what Otto's done, I just don't know, Pete. I guess you have to decide if the Otto Octavius you knew was still in there or not. Maybe if he was ever even in there at all. Call me anytime, Pete. I'm here for you. Peter, I did some research on Martin Lee's business holdings. There's a few where he worked really hard to keep his involvement hidden. Let me know what you find. I'll work on building a case against these guys. Demons? Peter, that location's a clearinghouse for donations to Lee's charities. Clothes, books, they're trucked in from drop boxes all over town. Great, I'll call in an anonymous tip. I bet if the police check out those drop boxes, they'll find something more interesting than secondhand jeans. I'll try to figure out their operation while you throw a wrench into it. Peter, that location's supposedly an importer of souvenirs for Chinatown shops. Drugs? Don't forget to bring me a souvenir. Finally, a job where you'll fit right in. Until you start with a face kicking. Peter, that place is supposed to be a bespoke furniture manufacturer. The hipster assassins are going to be so disappointed. Nice job. Anytime we can get guns off the street, it's a win. It's just sad when criminals don't take pride in their work anymore. I'll see what I can find out. Peter, it looks like Lee took over a legitimate auto repair business. Exactly. You shut this down, they'll have a tougher time moving around the city unnoticed. Don't worry, I'll get the cops down there. They'll clean things up. Could be both. They need social lives, too. Peter, that business is listed as an importer of computer parts. So it's an armory? You didn't get too carried away, did you? What they did was horrible, but... But you're not. That's all the places I could link to Martin Lee. We just made life a lot harder for the demons. Ooh, nice. What price range are we talking about? <laughs> 
still beats that time you tried to make dumplings. Hey, Pete, in the mood for some good news? I just posted a new article. Oscorp announced Harry's research stations are providing valuable data, so they're fully funding them. He hasn't returned my calls, which is weird. I know how important this is to him. You helped a little yourself, Tiger. You're a good friend. I know. I haven't been able to find out where they're treating him. I can't confront Norman about what we know without admitting to breaking and entering. Well, one of the Dons had this lost masterpiece painting called the Maria, and now they're displaying it over at Manhattan Mocha. Those guys are part of Hammerhead's crime family, right? Why would he want the Maria? It doesn't seem like his thing. So if not Hammerhead... Who? Is there a camera feed? Mission accomplished, then. Peter, is everything okay? Who? Maybe Hammerhead had a backup team? Why? What's going on? Just be careful. If those guys are Magia, they play for keeps. What did you ever do without me? Peter, are they alive or dead? Peter, what's going on with the guards? It is. There's way more valuable stuff in that museum. So why is the Magia so worked up about this painting? What about the Maria? This could have all been a distraction. So Black Cat was the one who went in through the roof? She was working with Hammerhead's guys? Just tell me you didn't let her get away with the Maria. Good. What? Ah, uh, good question. I'll start asking around. Always happy to lend a hand. <laughs> I've learned from the master. Yeah, about that. Whatever made you think she would go straight anyway? Because of her long record of honest behavior? Pete, she was manipulating you. If I remember right, the Cicero family has a front on Waverly. Sounds like she's hitting the Magia again. But why? Hey, Peter, I might have found Black Cat's next target. Because according to police dispatch, there was just a burglary matching her M.O. I'm sending you the location. Hey, if you find her, don't let her play you again. Hey, you get her this time? Wonder why she's working for Hammerhead. She usually flies solo. Yeah, whatever Black Cat stole, it might have just triggered a gang war. Please say a sentence that doesn't include the word thing. So here's what I got. Nobody knows what was on that drive in the Maria painting. But word is, Hammerhead now has the drive. And the Magia families are freaked out about it. One of the other Magia families has a front on Waverly. The Ciceros, I think. Hmm. So each family has a drive. I wonder what's on them. Did you learn anything else? Okay. Sounds like she's helping Hammerhead make a power play on the other crime families. The last thing the city needs is a gang war. I'll let you know if I turn up any info on those drives. Trouble? What do you mean? Because she's a criminal? Sure. Okay. Got it. I'll let you know what I find. Just one more and Hammerhead has the drives from all the other Magia families. We gotta figure out what's on those drives. Huh. I didn't know she had a son. Well, certainly sounds like something Hammerhead would do. Yeah, so? Oh. Oh, are you serious? Ew. Ugh. I need to hang up now. First things first, head to this address. It's the last known address of the Costa family safe house. If my source is right, they have the final data drive. No, you listen. I, I kind of overreacted the last time we talked. We weren't together at the time, and it's not like I didn't date other people. The point is, we're adults. And there's a kid in danger, so let's get to saving him. I know. Okay, so I think I know what's on those drives. Years ago, the families agreed to a joint accounting database in order to keep the peace and require all five data drives to access it. We have to find that last drive before he does. Did she tell you if you're... Of course she didn't. Are you sure she's not just playing you? Okay, well, I'm gonna run that plate number you sent me. I'll let you know where it leads. Peter, the police scanner just reported an active shootout around Hudson and North Moore. Felicia, huh? You guys on a first-name basis now? Well, let's just keep each other in the loop, okay? Black Cat brings bad luck. That's a little on the nose, Pete. And then forces her to steal the drive so he can steal the assets from the other families. Once I crack these files, maybe we can combine my chocolate with your peanut butter. Do not make a saucy joke out of that. I'm still decrypting the data. Should have something soon. Peter, I finally decrypted that laptop. You know that room-sized vault you were talking about? I found a record of it being delivered to a shipyard near Hell's Kitchen. Any clue about what happened to the guards will be inside. Is there a way to override the lock? Ah, uh, yes. Nothing sketchy has ever happened at a Magia-owned body shop. See if you can dig up anything on Hammerhead's plans. Great work, Pete. I'm going heads down on this article again. Talk soon. You mean fedoras? I think that might almost be worse than the weapons. 
Let me know what you find. This is great, Peter. I can use all of this. And I'll jump on the encryption ASAP. Yeah, I have your number in my phone, Pete. You don't have to tell me it's you. Yeah? You have no money to bet, but I appreciate the sentiment. I'll look into them right away. That would be so helpful. I'm on a deadline. Let's talk soon. Hey, Pete. Just working on my piece and wanted to check in. Did you find out what they're using that distillery for? Hey, Pete. Just riding away. What's up with you? Finding more than just beaters? Hey, Pete. Taking a break from work. So, what's the deal? Hand crocheted Spidey dolls to be mailed out by the dozen? Hey, Pete. Just wanted to check in. Having fun at the completely above board speakeasy? Figures. Uh, now I have to look up what LARP is, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall down a days-long internet rabbit hole. But thanks, Pete. Any paper records, send them my way. I'll make sure they get published and that place gets shut down. What do you got for me? Pete, this is incredible. Thank you. I'll see what I can get out of this file. Pete, is now a good time? I decrypted the file you found in that last hammerhead front. No, it's... It looks like Hammerhead's been collecting information on the cops. On Captain Watanabe. There's digital clippings here. Watanabe got her first big win by taking down a ring of Magia traffickers. She joined the force with a very specific goal in mind. I'm not sure. But I can tell there's a story here. I'll let you go. Back to work for us both. Hey, Pete. I have more decrypted file deets. Okay. Hammerhead's weirdly obsessed with Watanabe. Ugh, I hate when guys get internet stocky. Lots of transfer records here. She's been jumping from precinct to precinct. You got it. She's been responsible for shutting down every shady Magia joint in town for a decade. It's pretty amazing to see, actually. She seems like a bulldog. I think I'd like her. No problem. I'm gonna keep looking into this. Talk to you later. Peter, I decrypted that third file you sent me. Just keep doing what you're doing while I talk at you. It seems like the captain... Yuri's got some baggage. Yeah. There's some old police records here. Did you know she's a third-generation cop? Kind of. Yuri's father was kicked off the force, convicted and imprisoned for accepting bribes. Magia bribes. Dirty as they come. Looks to me like Yuri's trying to make up for her dad's mistakes and taking the Magia down in the process. Yeah. I know I'm supposed to be writing about the hammerhead fronts, but this is pretty compelling stuff. Call me back soon. You don't have to. I already know what it's gonna say. Hammerhead's not the only one who can get his hands on files he shouldn't have. Yuri's been disciplined lately. A lot. She's entirely focused on stopping Hammerhead and the Magia. She stopped following protocol. It doesn't look good for her. Yeah. Listen, Peter. This makes better copy than the Hammerhead friends. I've gotta pitch it. Okay. I owe you one for these files. And I hope things work out for your friend. Yuri'd been disciplined before she went off the rails. A lot. She stopped following protocol weeks ago. It doesn't look good for her precinct. Yeah. Listen, Peter. This makes better copy than the Hammerhead fronts. I've got to pitch it. Maybe it'll help people understand why she did what she did. Thanks, Pete. I really do hope things work out okay for your friend. Probably more than just an expired liquor license. See if you can find anything that'll tell us more about his operation. Solid work, Pete. I'll add this all to my piece right now. Lots of guys just casually wandering around. I'm ready for anything you find. Keep me in the loop. Amazing, Pete. Thank you. The story's really coming together. Hammerhead guys are hitting an Oscorp shipping facility near Seaport. Question for you. We know Hammerhead stole most of the Sable weapons already and a bunch of equipment from police lockup. Now he's stealing Sable tech that's bound for Simcaria. Where is he putting all this stuff? I'll try to cross-reference his men's activity with a city map. See if I can't nail down a location. Hey, so I've been reading up on the situation in Simcaria. There's a ruling dictator attacking his own people. Apparently Silver Sable's been working alone to arm the rebels and fight back, but she's losing. Explains why she's so angry. And desperate. Peter, head to Soho. I have a lead I need you to check out. One of my jailhouse sources just told me that some of Hammerhead's guys are always at a certain pizza shop. Maybe you can trail them. Find out where Hammerhead's supplies are. Okay. So, honey, how was your day? Oh, so you are working together. She still doesn't trust you? You two have to find a way to work it out. Hammerhead's too powerful to take on alone. My jailhouse source also said that Hammerhead's using this Project Olympus stuff to, quote, improve himself even further. Exactly my point. If you two don't stop him soon, he might become unstoppable. Hey, Pete. <laughs> Busy. Neck deep in research on Simcaria. That's great. 
I think it means a bunch of old-school Magia thugs feel threatened by a confident, powerful woman. Sorry, Pete. I don't mean to blow you off, but I'm on a deadline, so... Peter, are you okay? I saw people posting pictures of you and Hammerhead and Sable and... I knew she was still alive. What was she doing there? What? How? Sounds like you've got a pretty good handle on things. Listen, I've been digging into this Simcaria thing. It's a big story. Something I feel like I need to be a part of. My boss agrees. Tonight, it's a rapidly developing situation. You and Sable can take care of Hammerhead. You don't need me. That's sweet. But listen, other countries are ignoring this crisis, including ours. These people are helpless, all alone in the middle of a war zone. If I document what's happening and share it with the rest of the world, it might change things. Maybe even save lives. Do you trust me? Then we're good. I gotta go home and pack. I'll call you tomorrow when I get there. I love you. I know. Hey, just got a tip. Some of Hammerhead's men are attacking an Oscorp plant on the Lower East Side. Nothing yet. You miss her, don't you? So listen, I've got a source at Oscorp. They're ramping up production of this Project Olympus equipment, which is probably why Hammerhead's men are attacking that plant. The Olympus contract is for Sable International, part of a deal she made with Osborne during the Devil's Breath Crisis. And I just learned it's all supposed to be shipping overseas to Simcaria. And also the site of an increasingly bloody civil war. Have you heard about this? It's a hell of a story. I'll fill you in when we have more time. What do you think about taking a vacation when all this is over? <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. But seriously, we both need it. I'll start doing some planning. Let me know what happens at that Oscorp plant. Silver Sable, I know. It's my job to know things. So I imagine she's here to stop Hammerhead from stealing all her shipments. Which is good. Maybe you guys can team up. Well, listen, I'm gonna keep looking into the Simcaria story. It's... You seem to have a lot of women in your life lately. Huh. You don't think I'm challenging? <laughs> well done. Okay, I'll keep looking into Hammerhead's plans, and I'll call you when I find something... challenging. Sure, what's up? Hmm. I think some of the supers are offering H-1Bs based on credentials. Send me his info and I'll call around. Hey, what's up?